So let's go on a journey and find a 996 so that way we can compare it to the outgoing 997. And there's a couple of awesome beetles, one a Cabriolet and then that super beetle over there. And finally getting Turbo Tom on the actual video. If Turbo Tom isn't on the video, it's not a video. Yeah. Hey dude, did you see the... the uh... Rame Copper? Yeah. Yeah, no, we know that dude. That's, really? that's the dude, yeah, we've seen him before. That's the dude that actually was giving out um, the manuals and he was giving oh. out magazines. He's been in our videos before. Where is he? He's over there. He was there, over there before. I, get some, I can sell him some rims. I got some sport <laughs> rims for that thing. Well, I think he's walking around. There he is over there. Right there in a purple shirt. Purple shirt. Okay, yeah. Cool. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at a 996. And then we're going to go to the 991 and the 992 to complete the Porsche generations. Because obviously, we got to take a look and see how these cars have completely evolved. Now, the thing is with Porsches, when they have an actual generation, that generation can last anywhere from five to 13 years, depending. But right here, this is by far the most infamous of the Porsche models. The 996, and this one's a turbo model, has those infamous egg yolk headlights. Now, these were hated by Porsche purists. They absolutely despise these headlights, but now with the car moving into the future, well, guess what? Now they're back in vogue. People actually like them. People want to have them on the car because believe it or not, it adds character to the car. And as you can see the rear end, it has the vintage touch of that long light bar, but it's still cut off like the 997 that preceded it. Now, right here, this big tail light which that part is obviously the reverse and the turn signal. Well, now you have your dials actually eclipsing each other. So instead of having the dials be separate like they put before, now they're kind of half mooned around the tachometer, which is a super nice look. And that one's the actual coupe. Right here, we have a convertible. And this right here is super nice right here. You got the coupe version, but the convertible version looks a whole lot better as far as I'm concerned. You still have the same egg yolk headlamps, but now we'll get a better look at the instrumentation on the 911 for the 996 version. Now, as you can see, the tachometer is the only circular gauge there in the classic white instrumentation. A little bit of wood grain to kind of give it a warm feeling inside of a mostly black interior but with these cars they had those half moon exhaust pipes which are a porsche staple and actually really gave the car some deserved distinctness that usually most cars don't have because a standard circular tailpipe is just that a standard circular tailpipe but when you actually put a little bit of Schetzpa in it, as, as Morton Shecklestorm would say, well, your tailpipes look a whole lot better. Like the staggered ones on this Ferrari FF, for instance. Oh, 